started, I gave everybody about an extra minute to be late. There's always a few people who sign in late, but since I'm recording this and everything else I'm doing with Realtor.com, they can always catch up by checking it out on YouTube. Um, so welcome to the webinar today. Uh, we're going to be learning about Baird & Warner's new partnership. Um, we're going to be really focused on how that partnership uh, is going to make our listings and our agents stand out. Um, that's the topic for this week. I think you guys know each week I'm trying to cover a different one. Last week I talked a little bit about why uh, Realtor.com is so important and why we've entered into this partnership now. Um, I always like to start a little bit with the why, so we're, you're going to hear a little bit of that again today. Um, uh, I know from the registrations that, that many of you were not on the last week's webinar, so it's good to have a little catch up. Um, I'm kind of like a broken record when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to beating the, the horse of why our online presence is important. Uh, next, we're going to cover the what. Uh, as I said, this week we're focused on how our new automated profile uploads are going to work and how the resolution photos are going to work. Uh, we're also uploading 10,000 testimonials to Realtor.com, actually closer to 11,000 now. But I am going to leave that for next week because that's next week's topic. Um, so, and then I'm going to remind you of what's coming next. I've already done a little bit of that uh, uh, al already today. So, I told you I'm a broken record, uh, and you guys have heard this all from me before. Uh, you're hearing it everywhere. People use the internet to shop. It applies to real estate just as much as it does to anything else, right? The way they use the internet may vary by product, uh, but no one buys anything anymore without going online first. Um, you know, whether it's books, prescription drugs, houses, cars, shoes, baby toys, everything. Um, people are doing research even if they go into the store and buy it. Uh, uh, these days, um, you know, when people go Christmas shopping, they are, they are touching it and feeling it in the store and then buying it online. So people are integrating the internet into their uh, search to look at pictures, compare products, read reviews, and our industry is no different. So we have to get really serious about this. And you've seen these numbers before, uh, more than once uh, if you've been to any of my previous presentations, not just about Realtor.com, but when I've been talking about any of the other online websites that we deal with. You know, two-thirds of consumers are going to Google you even if it is a referral. Uh, almost three quarters start their research online before they reach out to an agent or a brokerage. Uh, and as you guys know, my all-time favorite, 92% of consumers trust online reviews as much as their friends and family. It's a bummer for friends and family, but I think it shows how much it's a part of it. I focus on the as much part because I think people still ask for referrals and opinions from their friends and family, but they back that up by doing their research online. It's a holistic process where they use both of those things. And I really think it's true in our industry just as much as it is in any other one. But there's a new stat on the bottom here, and I'll admit it, I made this one up. I can't find a study that says that 99% of consumers look at properties online, but it has to be pretty close to that. After all, if they're not looking at properties online once they meet us, we teach them to use our website. So even if they aren't already looking at properties online, the next time they search for their home, they're going to. And that means they're going to come in contact with portals like Realtor.com and Zillow. The reality is that those are out there. The consumer is able to find out about them. They know about them. The cat's out of the bag, so to speak, and they're spending hundreds of millions of dollars on advertising. Make sure the consumer hears that message. So... Realtor.com is what's next for us. We've already done a great job on Zillow. We've done tremendous work on Yelp. You guys have really done the heavy lifting. All I did was try and map out the path for you. Uh, and we've come so far. But we really have to look at Realtor.com because, you know, the reality is uh, we've got some room to go. And so we're going to make Realtor.com easier, right? Um, and, you know, no matter what you think uh, – no matter what you think of Realtor.com, they really are still relevant today. They may have less than less users than Zillow, but they still have 53 million unique visitors every month, uh, and that translates to over 100 million viewers in our market. It is less than their competition, but it's still an awful lot of people using uh, using Realtor.com. So we really need to pay attention. 
they've been in the industry a really long time, right? At least as long, longer than me by far, and as long as at least some of you on this uh, call, right? Since 1995, that was a really long time ago. The internet was a very different place, and they've been here since then. They've had ups and downs over that period of time, uh, but. Um, but at this point, the internet can be beamed into our pocket in a few seconds, and they're innovating features that are just as cool as their competitors and just as cool as our website. Um, and I think there's some real value in, uh, in working or in partnering with them. I think that they understand our industry a little better because they've been in it for so long. Um, and so they're, you know, they may have fewer users than the competition, but they use it more. We see that consumers are spending an average of two minutes longer on Realtor.com, and that's an eternity on the internet, right? Two minutes is a really long time in website time. Um, consumers visit twice as many pages, almost 10 pages per visit on Realtor.com versus 4.5 on Zillow. So it says something about how they're responding to the consumer's needs. And lastly, consumers themselves rated Realtor.com number one against those other sites. So consumers are just saying that they like it better, right? Um, so it may not be the most popular, but it really is well used. And that's important for us because we're not showing up so great on it. Um, and so, you know, it's a good thing that we're that we've started this partnership. Um, we have a huge opportunity to help hundreds and hundreds of our agents improve their online presence easier by making Realtor.com easier. Uh, only 49% of our email agents have a valid email in their uh, in their profile. Many have an old brokerages email, someplace they don't work anymore, um, and. Only 20% even signed into their account in 2016. So in terms of keeping our online presence up to date, as you've all told, heard me say, it really matters to keep it up to date everywhere so that consumers get a consistent experience, uh, get a consistent experience throughout the whole process. Um, and, and I think that's really important. Um, and so if you think about it that way, what we're doing is making it easier to keep your profile up to date. Um, and I want to think about what that means for a second, right? Because we're going to fix that. We're going to correct the email addresses and add the phone numbers and upload the photos, bios, and we're going to keep them up to date. That's what our new partnership allows us to do, right? So. I, I like to say, did you know that every licensed agent has a profile on Realtor.com, right? Even me, you can see a screenshot of mine up there. And I don't sell, right? I do have a license. And it's because of that license and my affiliation with the National Association with Realtors that Realtor.com knows who I am, right? So Realtor.com, as you guys probably know, grew out of NAR, right? And they know who all the real estate licensed real estate agents are. And so they can make a profile based on that very limited amount of information. Unfortunately, it's not a good one, right? I don't actually have a perfectly round head. Uh, I do have arms uh, and I have contact information. None of that's in my profile. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to take the information from your agent branded page and we're going to go from a profile that looks like mine to one that looks like Millie's. And I think it's fair to say that any sane consumer would choose Millie over me. There are lots of reasons for that. But even if our experience in the market was totally reversed and I had sold millions and millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of property, if they were looking at these two profiles, they would still pick Millie, right? And so not every Baird & Warner agent's profile is as bad as mine. In fact, I took my picture out to make a point. But far too many of them are incomplete, out of date. Uh, and we want to fix that. Um, and so I got a question, and I'm going to stop and address that because I got a question about a nerd's number or a, a point. And this is an important point. The one thing that you do have to do in order to show up uh, uh, in, the, in the searches on Realtor.com when you're doing find an agent is confirm your nerd's number. You can look it up in your account when you sign in. Uh, but we're actually going to be able to do that for you as well so that your profile, uh, while always live and shows up on all of your listings, right, even if your profile looks like mine, right, with just those gray boxes, that's what people see when they click through to your profile from one of your listings, even if you haven't registered your nerds number. Uh, so that was a good point. Thank you for uh, throwing that out there. It was one of the things that I wanted to point out because it is an important piece to remember. Uh, 
So here's the things that we're going to update, right? We're going to fix all this stuff easier, right? That's what it says on our billboards. And we're going to upload your profile information from your agent branded page, which means that all you have to do is keep your agent branded page up to date. Right, whether it's the bios or the phone numbers, uh, we're going to keep that up to date. I do like to uh, sort of run through this. The bios may not be formatted exactly the way they show up on your website. Realtor.com has a little stricter rules about things like uh, bullet points and things like that. Uh, and the social media links will only be those that you've selected in OneTouch to show live on your website. So if that little square isn't showing on your website, we won't be able to uh, verify that. And I always like to point out areas served because we have to choose that. Uh, we have to choose that um, through uh, through the MLS. It'll be the five areas where you have done the most business uh, in the last two years. If you recall, that's the exact same thing that we did for Yelp. It is not perfect. It is not necessarily right for everyone. Uh, so I will, once your, uh, once your profiles are set up, I will encourage you to check it out. It is better than nothing, which is the default. And without your areas served being put in there, you won't come up in any of the local searches. Um, so I also got a question about office information because we've had many offices that have an old address. Uh, we even had uh, over half of the Oak Park agents in our Oak Park office uh, were based out of somewhere in Kentucky. It was a mess. Um, we are also, as part of this data feed, cleaning up all of the offices. So uh, old office addresses or mislabeled or misnamed offices will also be corrected in the future. Um, I didn't put it up here because that's uh, it, I was focused on the agent-related part. Uh, but thanks for the question. And so that's what I meant by that office information down there. And then I always like to point out as well your license information, uh, which they have through NAR, but sometimes gets out of date if you've changed offices uh, or, or been in and out of the business. And that's really important because having it accurate is how you get credit as the listing agent on your listings. Um, and obviously we all love to get our listing leads and without that, uh, and a complete set of contact information, obviously, uh, you those leads won't be going to you. They won't know where to send them if they don't have a correct phone number or email address. Uh, and if they don't give you proper credit for your listing, then your contact information won't be what appears on those listings. Um, so as long as we're talking about listings, I want to switch gears a little bit to talk about the other thing that was on our agenda today. Uh, we're not only going to make profiles look better, but we're also going to make our listings look better on Realtor.com. Uh, and it looks like we have one or two questions coming in. I can try and come back to those uh, about the listings at the end. Um, so we're going to bypass MRED and their low resolution photos. And we're going to upload our high resolution photos directly from VHT to Realtor.com. We're going to do this so that our listings look like the one, go from looking like the one you see here to the one that's about to appear. Now, uh, notice how the current photos don't even fill the whole frame. The new photos are going to be bigger, sharper lines, brighter colors. Unfortunately, our photo upload can't make every ocean, uh, every house an oceanfront villa with an infinity pool uh, or even a six-bedroom Winneka mansion, but we can make every listing photo look better, and even a one-bedroom garden apartment in Pilsen deserves to look the best. Uh, we know that consumers absolutely love looking at photos, uh, and so we want to make sure our photos look great for them. Um, there aren't a whole lot of details, so I'm going to show a few more pictures in a second, but there is one key detail that you should know. It's only going to work for VHT photos, at least if, at first. We may be able to do it with other phot photographers in the future, but for now it only works with VHT. It will also, if you buy an extended package and, uh, you know, say you want to get 50 pictures, uh, MRED will only show 25 or 28. I'm sure you guys know what that number is. Realtor.com will take up to 100. So for those of you who do uh, who do get extended picture packages, those will now show up on Realtor.com, or in the future they will show up on Realtor.com without you having to do anything. Uh, in the past, people have been uploading those on their own. Uh, so thanks. It's 25. Thanks, Steve. You're on the ball today, Steve. You must have been well. Must be well caffeinated. Um, so I won't 
I won't pretend that it's really easy to keep track of these photos. That's why we're starting with VHT. We have 30 or we have 3,000 or so listings at any given time and keeping track of you know, 25 photos, making sure they stay in the right order that you guys want them to be, making sure that they show up on the right listing, uh, regardless of whether it's one of those fancy Winneka mansions or the one bedroom in Pilsen. It's still really important. Uh, so we just couldn't do multiple f photo vendors in this first round. Um, so I promised you more photos. I'd like to show an example when you click through. This is a little hard to uh, see, but I encourage you to sort of sniff around the realtor.com website if you want to get a better idea of how this is going to make a difference. But here you can see again, um, you know, the photos, uh, the, the colors are sharper, brighter, the photo is larger, it's clearer, uh, it's 150% uh, higher resolution. Um, so this is just another example. But if you think like a customer, you would rather shop for houses with nice big photos like those on the bottom than the ones on the top. Bigger and bolder is just better, and obviously ours are going to be bigger and better as a result of this new partnership. Um, so those are the two things that I wanted to touch on in detail. Uh, that's really it for this week's topic. I want to do a quick job of reminding you uh, what's going on uh, so that you don't miss out on any of the other things we're going to talk about. Um, there's going to be a lot of information that I'm throwing at you at this month, but one of the great things is uh, everything is going to be recorded so you and everyone in your office can consume them at your own pace. Uh, by the end of the day, I'll have this webinar up, so for anybody who didn't make it, they can check it out, they can fast forward through the boring parts or my bad jokes, uh, and I don't expect anybody to do all of this. I just want you to pick the best way for you to get the message, uh, and here are your choices. Every week for the rest of the month, uh, I'm tackling a different subject. On Monday, I'm going to release a short video. I think many of you guys have seen that. I've been very pleased with how many people are checking out my YouTube videos. I look just as bad on, on my camera phone as you guys, uh, but I appreciate your putting up with my ugly face uh, and my fun little bells and whistles. Every Wednesday for the rest of the lunch, I'm going to hold a lunch and learn just exactly like this. It's going to be like 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, we're going to give you a little more detail on what Realtor.com is all about on a sort of specific thing that this partnership touches on. Next week, I hope you'll join me again. Uh, it's going to be about my favorite topic, reviews, um, so it'll probably be even a little longer. Uh, every Friday, I'm going to interview a very special guest. Uh, I know that a bunch of you tuned in for Laura Ellis talking about how important it was last week. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking with a senior uh, training and communications manager at Realtor.com about his best tips and tricks to make your profile and your listing stand out. Uh, and how you can leverage some of Realtor.com's social media tools. So I encourage you to tune in for that, uh, or if you're going to be in front of basketball on Friday, I understand uh, that. You can always check out the video next Monday. Uh, hopefully your bracket will still be intact. Uh, then at the end of the four weeks, I'm going to do some regional presentations. This will be the first, uh, the first week of April. Um, I will be out near all of you guys doing regional presentations. The Realtor.com staff will be with me so they can answer the really hard questions. Uh, and this is for folks who, you know, don't like watching videos, hate webinars, or really want to dig in. We're definitely going to take it to a little bit deeper uh, level. Um, so there should be something for everybody. Uh, I just want to make sure that I find an avenue that helps reach out to you guys, whether it's, you know, the short two or three minute video or an entire hour long presentation. This was hopefully a, uh, a short and digestible break for you guys uh, and we can get you right back to the more important uh, task of uh, helping people buy and sell properties, right? So that's all I've got. I got a couple of questions uh, that I didn't address um, in the way they were coming in. So I'll address them now. This would be a good time to let me know if you uh, if you have some additional questions. Um, uh, I got a good one. I got a good one twice about the um, what time will the profile update take place. Uh, we're doing this all as sort of a final flip the switch at the end of the month. 
for a little while we were going to stagger it out. So you may have heard me say in last week's presentation that we were going to do it after two weeks. But upon further consideration, people pointed out um, we're getting a lot of people. I actually had more people who watched last week's webinar as, a, as the video than I did who signed up. Uh, so we decided to change that a little bit. Uh, everything's going to happen, the new photos going live, the profile updates, everything like that uh, on the very last day of March. Uh, that gives people plenty of time to update their profiles between now and then. Uh, that's a full two weeks still and even for folks who may not watch this until next week. Uh, so if you're talking to anybody, let them know they've got the rest of the month to do it. The good news is the profile update is going to be automatic. So in the future, you should see any changes you make to your agent branded profile. So even if you go in on April 1st and make a change to your bio, that should be reflected on Realtor.com within about 24 hours. Um, so you're going to see those changes continue to make play, take place. If you uh, change your photo, um, you know, let's say you get a new haircut uh, in the fall, you know, and you change your uh, and you change your photo in September. We're going to change that photo to Realtor.com. The one exception is after this, if you go in and make custom changes to your Realtor.com profile. So if you change your bio, your bio will stay how you changed it. It will not update to your agent branded page uh, again. And for those folks who have customized their profile, uh, have customized their profile ahead of time, uh, we will we won't be overwriting those. Uh, so there'll be a there'll be a little bit of a process there to get you onto that automatic update. Uh, I have a record of who those folks are, and we'll be reaching out individually so that we don't uh, bother all of our 2,000 agents. Uh, it's only a couple of hundred who have uh, customizations that are going to override our automatic update. So best if you get it done by the end of March, but the important part is you don't have to do that whole copy and paste process of updating Realtor.com. We're going to make sure that your most up-to-date information is in there uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, this partnership will run for at least the next two years. That's what it says on paper, but my understanding from Realtor.com is that they want this to be a forever partnership. They understand that it's a lot of work for you to keep your profile up to date. They understand that you have many profiles that you need to keep up to date, uh, and they set this up in order to uh, make it easier. Um, so I got a couple questions on the photos. Like I said, that will also not go live to the end of the month. But if you, uh, looks like folks are wondering, is this something that they should uh, say uh, uh, that that is a uh, an opportunity for a listing presentation point or to help win listings? And I absolutely think it is. Um, obviously, you know, you want people to be interested in the property that you're in. So it unfortunately will not start until April, uh, but it will take effect for listings that are already on the market. Uh, so, you know, even whether you have something coming to market uh, soon or something that is uh, up on the market, um, you uh, you will get this uh, going forward starting in April. So you can tell both your existing uh, and your uh, prospective clients about it uh, starting today if you'd like. The paperwork is done. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, one person asked, is there any way to do it in the meantime? And you can download your photos from VHT and through your uh, account profile as the listing agent, you can manually upload those photos. So if you have a listing that you wanted to do this for uh, right now, uh, you absolutely can do that. Uh, and so I think those are the questions that I got. I really appreciate your attention. Um, they were all really on topic, um, and uh, if there's nothing else that's coming in, uh, I will let you guys go back to uh, back to your real jobs. Um, again, I appreciate your taking the time to listen today. Uh, while there isn't any action step that you have to take to take advantage of this partnership, um, I do think it is great that you guys know what's going on and can make the most of it in uh, in selling yourselves and your listings out there in the market. So thank you a whole lot for taking the time with me, and I will hopefully see some of you on Friday and more of you next week on Wednesday.